Hey everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I'm great. This is going to be a great topic. Fantastic. I'm passionate about it. And that's the problem. I'm having a lot of problems getting through this daily delivery, keeping it concise, but thoughtful, keeping it within our three minute guideline and expressing everything I want to express because it's clear I'm going to have to do more on this topic than just this one. But here we go. I'm going to get through it this time. I am. I'm going to talk about Kansas State University and not really about athletics. Of course, this is rooted in sports in some way. This topic grows out of the fact that some real ugliness has been exposed about schools such as Kansas State here in what be called flyover country, but we don't mind that because we want you to keep flying too. The Pac-12 might be in trouble, and I think it will come apart. And with that, I expect some Pac-12 institutions to end up applying for membership in the Big 12. But a certain set of fans from Pac-12 institutions, some rather surprising places, have decided that the Big 12's beneath them. They can't be associated with such shoddy academic institutions such as Kansas State or Iowa State or Oklahoma State or Texas Tech. No, no, no. They're nobility and they're much better off than hanging out with the likes of us. And that's cool. That's fine. I chose to be here. I could have gone other places. I had the grades and the test scores, all you needed to get into bigger schools with expensive educations. I chose this place. It's a land grant institution. I'll get into that a lot more later in the week. And it really fit what I wanted and it has made me a happy man. It's why Becky and I, my wife, we moved back here 25 years ago to start a business and put down roots. It is a beautiful place with wonderful people. The Flint Hills are gorgeous. The campus is wonderful. The air is fresh and the kindness is found all over the place. I love Manhattan, Kansas. I love Kansas State University. And I appreciate that places such as Stanford and Cal offer an elite education to an elite ruling class that we couldn't possibly comprehend and fly over country. I get that. I understand. But that's not the mission of our schools. Most of us, many of us, were land-grant institutions, and that's really the core of this conference. Those who were asked to educate the masses, to let in 90 plus percent of those who apply for college here. We are intended to help people study agriculture and engineering to feed and build America. You might find weakness and pity us. We see strength. It is who we are. So look down your noses all you want. We're busy doing stuff here in Kansas. And if you want to think that makes us less than you, well, that's fine with me. I don't really give a crap about what you think about me.